jbeans.net. We're back with more tips for the Holland America Rotterdam. And we hope these 11 additional tips and a few quick tips will help you enjoy your next cruise aboard the Rotterdam even more. Just a quick note that if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment. It really helps our channel and consider subscribing so you get alerted when we add new videos. Our first tip is to spend some time checking out the Rotterdam's extensive art collection. The ship featured more than 2,500 works of art with a combined total value of more than $4 million. Even if you're not an art enthusiast, it's easy to be impressed by many of the works, and we spotted quite a few pieces when we participated in an art-themed scavenger hunt during our cruise. One of our favorite pieces was titled Billie Holiday. The likeness of the iconic musician was made with three miles of thread and no paint. If you would like to learn more about the art featured on the Rotterdam, we put a link to Holland America's blog post about the collection in the description below. Our next tip is to make sure you're aware of the seating options available in the Rotterdam's World Stage Theater. The venue mostly featured individual high back cushion chairs with armrests. However, two-person love seats with armrests were also available. Additionally, the Deck 2 level of the theater had about a dozen freestanding chairs and several companion chairs available. Our third tip is to check out the educational activities available throughout your cruise. It was clear that Holland America put a lot of work into making activities like the art of flower arranging and the company's origin story highly informative, truly interesting, and definitely worth attending. Our next tip is to visit the Rotterdam's complimentary saunas for some relaxation with a great view. Separate saunas were available for men and for women, and both included a shower and towels. The saunas were located on the port side or left side of Deck 9 Ford near the greenhouse spa and salon. Our fifth tip is to use a few kid-friendly four-letter words to help you find your stateroom. Many people remember that port and left have four letters, and port is the left side of the ship when facing forward. Additionally, even has four letters, and the even-numbered staterooms are on the port side, or left side, of the Rotterdam. Our next tip is to pay attention to the carpet in the Rotterdam stateroom hallways. We notice that solid-colored sections of carpet seem to indicate a slight ramp, up or down, which helped keep us from getting tripped up while walking. Our seventh tip is to check out the complimentary breakfast at New York Pizza and Deli on Deck 10 Midship. Although there were fewer options available compared to the buffet or dining room, we enjoyed the less crowded outdoor venue, which offered a variety of bagels and spreads, a breakfast bagel, and a bagel with locks. A build-your-own express breakfast that featured both hot and cold items was also available. Our next tip is to enjoy the Rotterdam's complimentary afternoon tea at least once during your cruise. Sandwiches, sweets, and tea were served in the dining room at 3 p.m. on Days at Sea. During our cruise, we were able to choose between sitting at our own table or with other passengers. Our ninth tip is to check out the outdoor movie screen by the Lido Pool on Deck 9 Midship for movies or sporting events on most nights. During our cruise, complimentary popcorn was available from a popcorn machine near the pool, and complimentary movie snacks, including flavored pretzels, wings, and more, were available at New York Pizza and Deli on Deck 10 
starting at 8.30 p.m. Our next tip is to check the Rotterdam's deck plans located near the elevators while you wait for your elevator to arrive. You'll want to know where you're heading before you board because the only information available inside the elevators is the deck numbers. On a funny note, what we did find inside the elevators were railings that were a bit warm. The warmth came from the lights located behind the railings, and we noticed several passengers were a bit surprised by the unexpected temperature difference. Our 11th tip is to select the Deck 14 button in the forward elevators if you want to go to the highest deck on the ship. Although most deck plans on the Rotterdam do not show Deck 14, we can assure you that the Sky Deck does exist. The open area offered great views, and we rarely saw other passengers on the deck. Finally, a few quick tips to make your cruise more enjoyable. Throughout our cruise, we found guest services to be far less busy in the evenings. So consider waiting until later if you need to speak to someone. Complimentary access to the New York Times was available while we were connected to the Rotterdam's Wi-Fi and did not require a Wi-Fi package. The Rotterdam does not have self-serve laundry rooms available, but laundry packages were available for a nominal fee. And check the midship elevator areas on the stateroom decks the night before disembarkation if you need a scale to weigh your luggage for your departing flight. <music>